Hello, my name's Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. And today we're doing another um, uh, na uh, plant. Okay, today's plant uh, we're, that we're doing is the uh, Jerusalem cherry. Um, it's not very common, like you don't see it around very often, um, but it does grow up to about two meters high and it grows um, in gardens and in areas where forests or uh, bush have been has been disturbed and whatnot. Okay, so here today we focus in on the um, the uh, plant. You can see here that the leaves um, are spear shaped. Okay, very spear shaped, and the leaves are alternate. Okay, I'll try and get in a thing here to show where they're alternate, okay, but, but almost opposite, alternate but almost opposite, okay. Um, the berries um, are green, as you can see here, okay, green berries, alright, and these green berries um, are extremely poisonous, alright. Uh, same as the red berries, you don't want to touch them. The green and red berries are extremely poisonous. The uh, base of the leaves, okay, is uh, this colour here, a lighter green colour at the base of the leaves. Okay. Um, and the berries, going back to the berries, these berries, when they're green, they're unripe, as I said, and when they're, they're ripe, they go bright red, like a bright, bright red colour. Okay. Um, what else have we got? Another way of um, uh, recognising them is the yellow flower here. You can see a yellow flower. Okay. Over here. Alright. A little bit of grass out of the way. Okay. But there's a bit of... The yellow flower here, you got that zoomed in there, all right. Um, so the yellow flower here is uh, it's got got the uh, yellow stamens, okay. It's got the yellow stamens and the white flower uh, petals on it, and that's very common to uh, solanum, the solanum family. Okay, so this bush here is in fact um, related to the tomato plant okay um, and oh, the tomato plant, plant many years ago because it was red a red fruit uh, was actually believed to be um, poisonous um, however it was discovered that the um, the plant the tomato plant is not poisonous just because it's red um, and it's Probably one of the uh, main fruits eaten worldwide now nowadays. Okay, but this particular one, if you see the uh, red berries, don't eat them. Okay, they're fatal. Okay, they'll kill you. Simple as that. Uh, Solanum. This plant here is very, very closely related to deadly nightshade. Okay, um, very, very closely related. Um, so you don't want to go anywhere near it. Um, as far as eating eating any part of it goes, okay. Uh, there is another plant that's related to this, as I mentioned, uh, called Puru Puru, and um, we will be uh, that plant there that you can eat. There are some parts that are poisonous, the green berries as well, but uh, we will be eating that, and uh, we'll probably be picking some and uh, throwing it into a uh, boil up, and I'll show you how to do a boil up as well, okay. Uh, that's quite common around, around the country, but uh, Jerusalem cherry. Um, stay away from it. Make sure you recognise it. It's no, the uh, leaves here are um, very soft, very soft to the touch, and the the stems here, the green stems, okay, um, are quite hard. Very similar to puru puru, um, as far as the stems go. All right. Um, this is a close-up shot shot of the uh, uh, one of the larger stems here, eh? It's um, smooth to the touch, um, and then it starts going into a more greenish 
colour stem, okay, and up to the tips. All right. Jerusalem cherry. Okay. Thank you, and um, please uh, subscribe, uh, make comments, and uh, learn learn plants, learn the plants of your country. Um, you know, uh, fantastic. If, if if need be, one day you might be in a bush, in the bush, or in a combat survival situation. You never know when. And um, it's, it's for you hunters out there, uh, fantastic to know uh, in case you have to spend a few nights out in the bush and um, run out of food or whatnot. Okay, um, so thank you for coming and uh, look forward to the next uh, plant. Cheers.